Okay, so in lieu of bean chat, we have, we'll call this ramen chowder chat. I like our chats. I hope you all do too. Uh, if you're watching this, then it means that I've decided to actually put it into a video because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, not sure whether or not I want to talk about this publicly or not, but I'll try to be vague in general in terms and you guys that are paying attention to what's going on, you'll, you'll get where I'm going. More drama, guys. I'm talking Homestead Network drama. Who doesn't want to be here? Who's angry? Who's not angry? You know, frankly, here's my take on it. First off, I have loyalty to my friends. First and foremost. And unless or until somebody gives me a reason not to trust them or not to like them, I'm going to remain loyal. But more importantly, I don't even know what it's all about. I don't get it. I really don't. I mean, the whole idea behind the concept of the Homestead Network is to build community. To bring like-minded people together in one place where we can exchange ideas, knowledge, experience. Uh, and there's also an entertainment component. Some people you might find more entertaining than others. Some people you might not find entertaining at all. And the nice part about it is you get to pick and choose who you want to watch, how often you want to watch them. But what I don't like to see is divisiveness, especially when there's no real reason for it. I don't quite understand it. Sometimes I get the feeling that, um, and this is a human nature thing, I'm not picking on anyone in particular, so don't start thinking I'm talking about you or you or you, because I'm not. I think people allow ego and jealousy to get in the way of what we're really trying to accomplish here. And, you know, at the end of the day, guys, we got to dial it back, especially when it comes to ego, and realize what it is we're really doing. We're making YouTube videos. We're literally making videos and uploading them to YouTube. We're not curing cancer. It's not super important in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, I would imagine that, you know, Everybody or almost everybody has some competitive streak in them and they want to grow and they want to, you know, get bigger and yada yada and some people really pay attention to what other channels are doing and really look at the numbers. I don't. I really don't even look at my channel all that often as far as the numbers go. Yeah, don't get me wrong, you know, I want to see that I'm growing. Every once in a while I'll peek here or peek there and look and see what's going on. But I want to see other channels grow. I use uh, Kirk at 46 degrees north for this example. I had a conversation with him and you know we were talking about channel growth and <clears throat> he's like yeah man your channel's really getting big and I wish mine was getting bigger and you know that, that sort of chat. And I said man I hope you pass me in subscribers and I mean that. I want to see him do well. I want to see all you guys do well. If you find an audience and people like what you're saying and like what you're doing they'll come to you. If they don't, they won't. It's pretty simple. Um, so, the fact that Brad's channel is three times the size of mine, I'm glad for him. I really am. I have no ill will to see Brad uh, get less subscribers than me. I, I, it just it doesn't cross my mind. Mm -hmm. Man, I hope this corn does... Uh, it was just narcolepsy kicking in. So I really hope um, that other channels do well. And, you know, from a selfish standpoint, I know that if their channels do well, and I've been there to help support them along the way, chances are they'll help support me too. And we share a lot of the same subscribers. And that's a good thing. That's community. That's close-knit. That's what we want. There's far too many real problems going on in this world where we have to start fighting with one another. Um, I've said this in videos before. It's, it should be us against them. Those of us that think the way that we think against the machine that is fighting against us tooth and nail, that is robbing us of our rights and our liberties, left and right. It shouldn't be us against us. 
when we do that, they win. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like Black Lives Matter. When I see Black Lives Matter sit there and really just take issue with white people, the whole white race, anybody that's white is wrong, it bothers me. And it, I see a missed opportunity because they're raging against the machine. Now, they may not be doing it in the same way that, that I would do it, but wouldn't it be great if we could figure out a way to rage against the machine together? Like find common ground and turn our energy and our attention to the people that are really sticking it to us, regardless of what color they are? That'd be great. Is it going to happen? I hope so, but I don't have a whole lot of hope that it will. Believe it or not, guys, this ain't half bad. I mean, you know what? It'll fill the belly and it was easy to make. So when it comes to all the drama that's going on out there, I certainly hope that everybody's already shot their wad. I don't want to see it get worse. I mean, remember it was just a couple of months ago we had all those silly trolls come in from other channels for no good reason and just pick a fight with people that thought this way. It was funny to watch some of their live streams. They were making fun of us, calling us toothless farmers and you know, rednecks and this, that, and the other thing. But if you took five minutes and just saw the kinds of stuff that they were talking about, you're like, hmm, they're making fun of us? But we did something that they're not used to. We fought back. And we meant it. And we said some things, we meant what we said, and we were going to follow through on those things. Thankfully, they saw the light, they didn't want the trouble, and they backed off. And immediately, that was the end of it, because we weren't the aggressors. Corn tastes fine to me. Um, so regardless of whose team you think you're on, this team or that team, I would just say this. There doesn't have to be teams. There doesn't have to be us against them. We're all really on the same side, I think. We don't have to like each other. We don't have to love each other. We don't have to hold hands and sing kubaya around the, around the wood stove or the fireplace. But it would be nice if we didn't actively fight each other and expend energy and resources on that. There's way too many problems in this world to have to really spend a second on that stuff. I feel weird even talking about this because it's, it's really, it's, it's middle school. It's ridiculous. But I know there'll be questions. I know there'll be talk. I might as well address it rather than pretend like it's not there. So anybody who decided that they didn't like the Homestead Network and they want to do something else, have at it. It's a big place. The World Wide Web is, well, it's worldwide. And there's lots of people on the Internet. And you can do anything you want, anywhere you want, as long as the hosting site that you're using allows it. And that's a problem. Because we're being increasingly censored anytime we say anything the man doesn't like. That's a real problem that we should find common ground on and maybe stand against it. Rather than fight each other over who's in charge of what, who's got a bigger channel, who's got a bruised ego, uh, who thinks they're a better friend, whatever. I don't even know what the issues are. I don't, I don't care, guys. I guess what I'm trying to preach is unity. I feel like Rodney King. Can't we all just get along, man? And let's go back to the basics. Why, why did we start doing this to begin with? Create the community. Why do we want to continue to do it? We want to continue to strengthen the community. And if you're not on board with the way that that's being done, you know, I, I, I can come and go as I please. You can come and go as you please. There's no reason to make a fight about it. It's natural to want to pick sides here, guys. But I think if we really boil it down to what we're looking at, it's also pretty ridiculous. So I say, have at it. Do what you want to do. I, miss, I, I wish anybody that wants to go off and do something different the best of luck and much success. I truly mean that. I mean, truth is, you don't have to be on the Homestead Network to do a live stream. Heck, we all figured that out. But let's also remember where it all started. Let's also remember the channels that had no subscribers, 100 subscribers, 300 subscribers, that have now gotten to a point to where they have an audience. And that was in part 
with the help of the Homestead Network. And where I talk about loyalty is I look at the person, people that helped start that. And the first person in line is Brad and his wife, Krista. Because I know Krista had a lot to do with it. And let's face it, if you don't have somebody behind you helping you out, it's tough to get anything done. So having a good woman behind you is important. And fellas, you know that. Ladies, you really know that. So I have loyalty to Brad because of that. Not just because I like Brad and he's my friend and I'm emotionally invested in his family and his channel. I like his content. But because I think he did something great for the community and I appreciate that. And so I'm going to continue to patronize that business even though it's not a business. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I've said too much. I've said it all. I've said nothing. I've said it all. That will conclude this ramen chowder chat. <laughs> I'm not even halfway done with the bowl. This is going to get ugly. You know, I was just thinking, maybe some of y'all like the drama. Maybe you like the tit for tat, the he said, she said. I really don't. I got other things I could be doing with my life than dealing with that. I think everybody does if you think about it. So save the drama for your mama. Let's get back to talking about real issues. Let's start providing real solutions. And let's just get back to being buds and friends and community. Let's do that. I think that would be way more productive and way more helpful than any back and forth that either has, will, or may occur. Make sense? Now that concludes Ramen Chowder Chap. Alright guys, I couldn't help but bring this up because I just got done talking about what we talked about during our chat here. And I checked my email and I got an email from a guy from Scotland. And I won't use his name because he hasn't given me permission to use his name. I did ask permission if I could read this and if you're seeing this he gave me permission. He reached out to me the other day and said, Hey, I'm over here in Scotland. I would love to buy one of your shirts. Can you ship it internationally? I know it's going to be more postage. Just let me know what it is. So I double checked. It's $8 more to ship it overseas, more than the domestic shipping. So it's 23 bucks, 23 bucks for the t shirt. And he sent me an email today and said, Hey, just want to let you know that I paid for the t shirt. I watched your show on Saturday when you switch with OGK. You made so much sense. Obviously this guy's nuts because I'm making sense. So, just kidding brother. You're totally correct when you say the community is great. I have found many good folks in the off-grid and preparedness world, even though folks can be miles and miles apart. They help with support and at times they travel and help when needed. YouTube's my main source of information and the only time I seem to watch TV is for the news and there's never any good news so sometimes I wonder why I watch it. This is why I want to read this to you is because he's talking about community. And this, this is the crux. I never would have talked to this gentleman if we weren't doing this YouTube thing. And he may never have seen me if I wasn't doing the Homestead Network thing. Regardless, I get such a kick out of getting messages from all you guys. I mean, I get a lot of, lot of emails, a lot of messages. You guys keep me up to date with stories that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Sometimes those stories make it to videos that I ended up doing um, on those stories that you sent me. But I get a special kick out of the fact that somebody so far away is watching me. There's like people in Sudan that watch the channel once in a while, uh, Thailand, you know, countries all around the world. It truly is a global reach. Even though I'm a small channel, there's people spread all around the world that watch this stuff. And the last thing I think they'd want to see is this kind of infighting or bickering and that sort of thing. But that aside, I'm trying to focus on the positive here. The positive is that we have this community. I'll, I'll go on here. I love to be, I would love to be off grid and my dream is, and slowly saving up for a small RV. That was in parentheses. Slowly saving up for a small RV and then I'll be traveling off grid uh, and see more of the world. A little background on me. I was an SOF medic, Royal Navy Commando medic. 
Unfortunately, in 1998, the vehicle we were in got hit with an IED, improvised explosive device, and by the grace of the gods, I survived. Sadly, the other three didn't make it. Whew. That puts things into perspective, doesn't it? It took me 11 months in the hospital to learn to read, write, and walk again. In the UK, sadly, they don't look after the vets as well as they do in the USA. So technically, I am now retired and will never work again. We talk about how bad the vets are treated at the VA around here. And this guy says that they're even worse over there in the UK. And then he goes on to say, however, I have so much to be grateful and thankful for. And most importantly, I survived. So a good day for me is to wake up. I also liked your advice the other week about buying silver. Here in the UK, it's the Britannias, and I have started buying a few months ago and try to buy every month or two. Good for you, brother. Anywho, back to the community. I run, own a number of Facebook groups, Prepper Links, SHTF Medics, the Scottish Preppers Association. That just sounds awesome. I, I'm telling you, I'm going to watch Braveheart after this. Because I am William Wallace! Oh, that was horrible. Gosh, i got to give that stuff up. As well as the SHTF Medic page on Facebook and 365 Survive page on Facebook. And Twitter. So I keep busy with so many good folks, uh, it warms my heart. Yeah, we get a few undesirables, but that's life. Yeah, that's life. This was going to be a short email, but turned out to be a bit longer. So anyways, before I go, can I get a mailing address for you guys? As I'd like to send a little something from Scotland to you and OGK, if that's okay. I mean, Wow. Honestly, it chokes me up when I see stuff like this, because this guy's story, I mean, he damn near died, and the other three people in his vehicle actually did die. He spent 11 months in the hospital because he had to learn how to read, write, and walk again. And he's thanking me. He wants to send me a gift. Once again, thank you for all you do. Keep up the great work with the videos. When you say hi to those in the chat, I think that's neat. It makes the watchers, listeners feel part of it. And that, in my view, makes your live videos more special. Hope that sounds right. So keep doing what you're doing, as it's darn good. All the very best to you and your family, and look forward to hearing back from you when you get a chance. P.S. Tell OGK that good things come in small packages. I'm only 5'8". And then he put the centimeters next to it. <laughs> and what do you say? What do you say to a guy like that? And you know what, he's, he's not an exception. He's more the rule in this community. It chokes me up, guys, it really does. Because I'm not doing anything special individually here, I'm really not. I just decided to share some of what I got going on in my life with you guys. And what I've gotten in return is so much greater than anything that I've given, or anything that I might give. And that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Do you all think I was kidding about Braveheart? Well, I'm not. This goes out to you, my friend, all the way over in Scotland. This is a great movie. And it shows how tough some of you Scots are. So thank you. Well, I wish I could use your name, man. But I don't feel comfortable doing it without a thumbs up, so... Thank you, my friend, all the way over there in Scotland. I really appreciate your friendship, and I'm glad that we met. And thanks for the t-shirt purchase. That was really awesome of you. I know that your well wishes for the Patriots all the way over here in the United States is going to be well received and appreciated. Hey, don't write yourself off yet.